Hello, um, so I'm going to uh, give a brief uh, demo of CyberPanel. So uh, this is the login page. Um, the first thing that we need to do is just log in. So we will use the credentials that uh, uh, your credentials for CyberPanel. So let's log in. This is mine. <coughs> so the first thing I'll demo is the. Uh, First thing I'll demo is the features that are on the dashboard. Uh, so the first thing we'll deal with is the users. Um, you can create, uh, you can uh, uh, show the list of users who are available. Currently, there aren't any other than the admin. Uh, you, you create a user from this. Uh, so you have to provide the first name, last name, email, the type of user that uh, it will be. How many sites are they limited to? and uh, the username and uh, password. So um, from here also you can modify any user. So but currently I don't have any user other than the admin. So we have this admin. So um, so let us go to the next one, which is the websites. Um, so the websites uh, are generally um, equivalent to something that you can also find on the cPanel. Um, so, I do have like a demo site that is uh, live. So this one I is something that I created. Um, so as you can see, I've uh, created. Uh, this is the actual site itself. Um, you can manage it from here also. Um, uh, you can see it has a uh, vision issued it and a cell sign certificate. Um, you can see the loans and stuff. Um, when you first create yours, um, it won't have WordPress installed, but that's something you can install from here. So it adds WordPress as well as the Lightspeed cache. Um, additionally, you can add things like uh, Git, the Presta store, and Mautic. Um, if you want to uh, change any any of the files there, you can use the file manager. So we just need to click here take you to the file manager and for those who are familiar with cPanel this is, should look uh, like something that is familiar so as you can see these are the uh, WordPress uh, PHP files yeah, if, it is, if there is anything you need to modify you can modify from here so let us go back um, so uh, the other thing also I want to demo is uh, let me go back to yeah so this is a database so whenever you create a website it automatically creates a data, database for it um, so if we list this one, I uh, will uh, find the database that was created for that uh, website. So if we go to here, this is the website that we created. This is the its database. Uh, it, can, it has like um, very. Um, it's not really a descriptive database name, but um, for our use, it's. Uh, Okay, if you want to see what database you have, you can go to the PHP My Admin. Uh, you can just access it right now. Then, from here, this is the database. Then, from here, you can have a look at everything. So, let me go back. Um, so, um, the next thing that we need to check out is the SSL. Um, currently, if you create a website without the SSL, you can actually manually add it by just going to Manage SSL, select the, uh, the website, and then click issue the SSL. Make sure you click here. I would click because I already added the cell sign certificate. Um, the next thing that we need to do is uh, is the email. So email is a common thing that uh, uh, users will need to do. So here is where you configure the email. You can create an email from here um, for this particular website. Give it like name so xyz give it a password and the, and the like uh, you may go to do that uh, you also need to know that create uh, adding the email you need to add some uh, dns records uh, in your for, for your uh, domain so there's also that that's something you need to make a note of um, so I won't go through everything, but maybe the other thing I want to show is uh, for 
the PHP. Um, you can manage uh, your PHP stuff from here. Like you can edit the config. Uh, for example, you can you can re add uh, you can raise the memory limit. You can add the post size. Increase the upload size. Something that is common. You can change it to something like 200 uh, megabytes. The other thing also is a uh, common thing is installing extensions. Um, you select the PHP version that you want to add extension to. In our case, um, uh, I think all the extensions are enabled, but if uh, for your case you uh, an extension is not uh, has not been installed, you can add it from here. Uh, the last thing I also want to show is uh, this is um, for more advanced users. Um, you can add uh, you can install Docker on the server panel so that you can uh, add uh, any Docker image that you need. Um, so um, so that's a basic overview of uh, the C panel, uh, not C panel, um, cyber panel, um, the free C panel alternative. And uh, the coming videos will further explain more details such as uh, installing WordPress um, and the like. So stay tuned and uh, thank you for listening.